The greatest thing about working on a Spider-Man game is that you're working on a Spider-Man game. The hardest thing is that it's a Spider-Man game. We really care about storytelling here at Insomniac. And I think that's how we go into every day we come here. There's this push to really get it right. One of the most compelling things uh, about Spider-Man is just when Peter Parker and Spider-Man's world collide. And we've tried really hard to weave the two stories together to create a story that is not necessarily just a superhero story, but a human story as well. So this Spider-Man is a little different. He's older, he's 23, so he's been Spider-Man for eight years. And kind of like an athlete in the prime of his career, he's starting to get good at the Spider-Man thing. The nice thing about playing an experienced Spider-Man is that he's already familiar with his powers, right? He's not just discovering them. We always think of Spider-Man as we call him the acrobatic improviser. He's looking for not only how he can take advantage of the way the enemies are positioned, but what around him. Could he use this object to grab with his webs and throw at an enemy? We want people to not only see the enemies in front of them, but the environment around to take advantage of both of them. He also knows that the criminals out in the city know how he works as well, so um, he's got to mix it up. So even though he is more experienced, the challenges are going to be bigger than he's ever faced before. Spider-Man has a rich history of having great stories. The core of our story is this duality between being Peter Parker and being Spider-Man. What's cool about Mr. Negative is that he also has a duality. He's got his positive side as Martin Lee, who runs the homeless shelters in the city, but he also has his negative side. When Peter makes the connection that the leader of the Inner Demons is the guy who my aunt works for, we got the perfect collision of those two worlds. So many people have their own vision of what Spider-Man should look like, what he should sound like, and in the end, we just have to put a new and fresh twist on who he is. And for us, it's really, really important to deliver those big spectacle moments, those near impossible scenarios that only someone like Spider-Man can survive, and put you in that action. You got this, you got this, you got this! We understand what this character means to people in here, and we're making this game with a lot of heart, and we're gonna do whatever it takes to give people the ultimate Spider-Man experience, the game that they've been waiting for.